Welcome back to the channel, and today I have a review. Well, not a review. I just wanted to say a review because I got a review stuck in my head that I'm about to actually film after this. Now, I do not know when this is going up. Don't know. But these are the reviews for the month of November. Now, this is probably going up for November 2nd or the 1st. I don't know. But, yeah. Now, these are some movies that i'm going to review now with that being said um there are movies that i'm going to go see in the theaters in november so those obviously will not be in this video there's also movies that i want to uh, watch on hulu and netflix um but i did not put them like on a list so they would just be up in the month of november um start with this one people under the stairs uh, people under the stairs um, I love this film. I love this film. I forgot actually I had this film, but it's been a while actually since since I've seen this film. It's a very enjoyable film, and I do like it, yes. Also, another review coming is Guardians of the Galaxy. I think I reviewed this one sometime on my channel. Don't know when. Um, so it may be a revisiting as well. Do you guys remember when this came out on Blu-ray and they had like different like slip covers? And I got the Rocket one, because I like Rocket, obviously. That's why I got the Rocket one. Um, also, um, going to be... Now, this is something I'm mainly going to focus on for the month of November. Part of December, because I know... Um, part 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 5 will be out in December. And what I'm talking about, I will be reviewing all the Rocky films... And do respect a ranking of all of these. Um, probably December-ish. But yeah, this is the box set that I was going to show you guys. This is the Blu-ray box set. Uh, we'll be reviewing, ranking, all of these. Um, so yeah, this is all the discs. Rocky 1, Rocky 2. Of course, I'm going to review Creed, but I didn't bring it over here because I forgot where it is. Um... But yeah, comes with like these little cards, which I got. Don't know where they are. I know where they are, but they, I don't. I think they're in the um, storage unit, as far as I know. <laughs> um, um, yeah, because I had them in like a little frame thing. So yeah, that's that. Got the Rocky reviews coming. Love this franchise, if you don't know. Now, Journal of the Corn. I'm probably going to be, you know what? This review may already be up on the channel. If so, go check it out. If this review's already up, it's going to be linked in the description. Because, yeah, I'm going to watch this tonight, actually. I'm going to watch this tonight. Yeah, yeah. This review will already be up on the channel, actually. Um, that's the Children of the Corn remake. And I will say right off the bat, prefer this over the original. Prefer this over the original. Not a lot of people talk about this remake, and I wonder that, because this is a really, really good Stephen King remake. You know, if this remake would have came out 2016, 17, 18, when, like, this, you know, like, when, this, you know, it's like there's a big Stephen King um, film remakes happening. If this would have came out 2016, 17, 18, 19, or this year, um, or even next year, I think people will talk about this film a lot, but this came out in 2000. And when did this film come out? 2009. There was a lot of remakes coming out in 2009. And not a lot of people really cared about Stephen King remakes in 2009. Hellraiser Judgment. Love this one. Love Hellraiser Judgment. Love this one. Love this. Love this film. Um, of course, that's the disc. This Pony Clear Dimension film is disc. This is actually a good Hellraiser film. I only like the first one. I only like the first Hellraiser, and I like this one. So, if I offended somebody on that, then I apologize. But, yeah. Um, the Batter Dude. Probably also going to be watching this one tonight. That's all you know I'm going to do. One time I'm going to watch tonight, I'm going to put it over here. Um, but, yeah. The Batter Dude. The Batter Dude. Going to be reviewing this as well. This review may, all, again, may already be up on the channel. I don't know. Same thing with Rocky 1. That review may already be up. Um, I love this. I love this book. I love this. Song. I love this movie. 
You also, this Blu-ray is so cool. You got like the classic, classic, like Blu-ray cover, DVD cover, but then you pop it open and you got like this big batter duke. So I'm probably gonna put this one on display. Let me know if you guys do that. Like you put like your Blu-rays and box sets on display. I do that. I think this will be like a good one to put on display with this cover. As well, fun fact, I was trying to get the book, the Batadook book, because they had a Blu-ray and they had the book combined because it was a di um, disc and it was the book. Hard to explain. You got like the book it, it, because it was like a special edition, but now I can't find it. It's so strange because the place I was going to get it, I think it was Walmart or the Best Buy I was going to get it at. They said it was going to sell it, but then it didn't have it. I don't know if they recalled them. Not recalled, discontinued them, but yeah. Battery. This is a classic. If you haven't checked it out, do recommend it. I don't think I reviewed it on my channel. Um, No, I don't think I reviewed it on my channel. <sighs> Jason Takes Manhattan. Jason Takes Manhattan. This is just, oh my god. Probably going to be watching this tonight, but it's just a snooze fest. I think Jason Takes Manhattan is boring myself because it just really takes place on a boat. And it's really false advertisement. But it is what it is at the end of the day. You dig? So, Friday the 13th. This is my favorite Friday the 13th. Right here. I'm going to show you right here. Got this Blu-ray at a pawn shop. Now, I love this right here. I also got two copies of the DVD. And this is the Blu-ray. Got this Blu-ray a few months ago at a pawn shop. Which sells a lot of Blu-rays and stuff. So, that's the disc. Love this film. More people need to check this film out. And appreciate how awesome this film is. Awesome. Now, Hellraiser. This is a classic film right here. Talking about classic, this is, to me, like Halloween status, Child's Play status. Hellraiser. The very first one, the original. This has not been remade yet, which is surprising that it has not been remade. You, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I want this remade, but you know what I mean. Like, you would have thought this would have been remade, like, in 2005, 2010. But no, it hasn't been remade yet, which is very surprising. Um, yeah. There was rumors about actually a remake not too long ago, but there's not now. The Devil Inside. This is... A pretty okay found footage film. I'm picky about my found footage films. If you guys don't know, I'm picky about my found footage films. Um, yeah, this is Paramount is behind this as well. Um, yeah, this does have some good moments in this. This again, this uh, review that may already be up. I don't know. So I'm gonna be watching a lot of um movies tonight. So this may already be up. I don't know. The Ring. Now, I actually like The Ring. No. For some reason, not a lot of people like The Ring now. Don't know why. Um, I think it's an okay film. Pretty cool concept. Fun fact. I like to hang these, like these little covers on my wall. Let me know if you guys like to hang these on your wall. I like to hang these on my wall. And of course, you got like the chapters on the back. But to me, I've all, I, I, I always like to hang these on my wall. Because I just think the art looks cool. Um, and two, that's the disc. And I, and I do think this is a really good PG-13 horror film. Before you die, you see. So, pretty cool tagline. I wish I got to see this in the theaters, actually. I think, th I think this has been pretty cool to see in the theaters, actually. Let me in. This is a film I actually forgot I had. I know it's a remake, but I don't remember. I do not remember this film. I got a Let Me In review coming. Um, got this at a Dollar General for three dollars. Let me know if you guys got a Dollar General. Um, was it a family dollar or a Dollar General? I don't remember if it was a family dollar or a Dollar General. I don't remember now, but if you guys dollar store sells DVDs, let me know. It says let me and I'm not taking this out because the disc is scratched for some reason. Um, but yeah, let me in. Cool stuff. Oh. The new, now, this is the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Got this blur. I also got it on DVD. The DVD that I have is the same DVD from 2010. This blur I got from a flea market. 
it's actually came in a bullet. This is actually the blockbuster version, which is the same version as the normal version. I think that's pretty cool. That's one reason why I got this um, at the flea market because I was going to order it, um, but I was like, oh, that's cool because it comes like in a rent. I think it's cool. If you know Blockbuster, you know. Um, our Blockbuster um, closed down, actually tore it down. It closed down, I think, 2009, 10, 11-ish. And I remember getting a lot of movies there. But I got this one from a flea market, and I, and I just had to get this because I've been wanting this one on Blu-ray, number one. Two, it came in a, like a cool blockbuster case. I probably got this like about a year ago. It's even got the sticker on the flea market on there. It's eight dollars. It got it for eight dollars. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I think it's cool. Now the now is this movie any good? Not really. The acting, but you know, stay tuned to my review. Of this opinions have changed on this. I still don't prefer it, but opinions have changed slightly on it. But we'll be reviewing this. We'll be watching that tonight. Um, I'm actually gonna be having me a mini um Freddy marathon. I'm gonna watch the new Nightmare Freddy vs Jason and the remake back to back actually tonight, like late late tonight. So I'm a night person, so why not watch some Freddy late tonight? Probably gonna start that probably right nine o'clock tonight, eight o'clock. Um, going to also be reviewing the new Nightmare right here and as well Freddy versus Jason which is right here and Freddy versus Jason comes in this box set but as well I also have Freddy versus Jason right here it's just a special it's just the two disc pretty cool stuff yeah pretty cool I love Freddy vs. Jason. A lot of people don't give Freddy vs. Jason the appreciation that it deserves. I think that's disappointing. But it is what it is. Friday 13th, A New Beginning, and Jason Lives. We'll be watching these actually back to back as well. Love both of these films. I'm a fan of The New Beginning. And Jason Lives is one of my favorite Friday the 13th. Um, a new beginning, not my favorite Friday the 13th, but I do like it. So, got this review coming as well. Stay tuned for that. Now, the new beginning review may already be up. So, check the channel. Um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. Also, gonna be watching this one tonight. Um, I reviewed, you know, it, it dawned on me a few days ago. I reviewed the remake. Huge fan of the remake. But I said, I got to review this one. I never reviewed the prequel to the remakes. I'm also a huge fan of this one. So yeah, pretty cool. I like the disc. I like the way the disc feels and looks, but I think the shed did his face on the disc. I think that been pretty cool. As you see, I got Blu-rays and I got DVDs. Um, I play these on my PlayStation because I have a PlayStation 4 where I play video games, so why not just play these on my PlayStation? Um... Alright, this is the mi miniature Friday the 13th collection. You got one, you got one, two, and three, and four all in here. Gonna be watching part one and two. Nothing really. I need to get the full collection on Blur actually. This is like a miniature. Um, but yeah. I, I, I've legit, I've had this for about 12 about 12 or 10 years I've had this little miniature box set and it still hold up which I love that I love that it still is held up but I'll be watching part 1 and 2 back to back so part 1 and 2 reviews will be back to back stay tuned to that also another classic all these are classics really but except for the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street that's not what I this is a classic this is a killer clowns from outer space base now i got this from walmart when they was having those little cool little artworks right here um there's some of them other ones and this is like a little cool thing like 28 days later etc they also got a chucky one they also got a kid they got Ch chucky one a carry one um because they got they've that's what I'm talking about. Like the 
they mean like special blurries. I still want that Chucky one. I still want to find that Chucky one. Um, but yeah, it's just like a little booklet. Slides in there. Killer Clowns amount of space. It looks gorgeous. On Blu-ray, so she'll be watching that tonight. And also, let me know in the comments below. With your physical copies, do you actually lay them out in like in a little spot or beside your, or like in a spot or in your entertainment center? A films that you're going to watch. This, this stack right here, which I'm going to show in a minute when I get it organized really fast. I'm trying not, try not to make this video super long. These are the films I'm going to be watching. Not including the ones um, that are on Netflix and Hulu that I want to watch. There's actually a film called Bad Apples on Hulu I'm saving for Halloween Eve to watch and upload on Halloween morning. So yeah, boom, look at this stat. To think, most of these will be watched tonight. I'm really not going to be doing nothing today, so this is perfect. Watching all these horror movies. And, yeah, upcoming reviews as well. This is the miniature stack. We got Let Me In. Um, How is Judgment? These will be watched sometime soon. Of course, Ronky, that's not a horror film. I still love it. Guardians of the Galaxy, not a horror film, but I love it. People on the stairs, love that film. So, yeah, just a lot of cool, a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool reviews. If you did enjoy the video, if you did enjoy the video, a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have one in the next one.